Hey guys. Can I just start the show? Yes, you are. Come on, tell them what's going to happen during this video. Tell them what tomorrow is, Boop. Am I still the star of the show? You are the star of the show. Tell them what's going on. Graduating tomorrow, this is a graduate video. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so she's graduating tomorrow, and what are we doing with your hair? Blowing it out, I mean, I mean, straightening it for graduation. All right, guys, so here is her before. Show them, show them your before, turn around. And we are about to tackle this hair. Mm -hmm. Here is the after. So, make sure you guys watch the entire video i promise i'm gonna make this as informative as possible and yeah let's get started wait make sure to subscribe to little summer and video hey guys so i'm gonna start this on freshly washed hair i am washing her hair with the taylor beauty moisturizing coconut cream shampoo and um if you guys don't know i have moved so our wash routine is a little bit different i am actually utilizing the utility sink in my laundry room so if you guys want to see a wash routine using my utility sink um i'll just let me know below but i have so many different wash routines but I am sticking to this wash routine now because I love it so much so now it is time for me to um, condition her hair so I've used a combination of the Taylor Beauty coconut cream conditioner as well as my grow thick oil because I want to kind of condition and hot oil treatment her hair because I will be blowing and flat ironing her hair I want to make sure it's so moisturized and detangled as well so i am detangling because her hair is going to have heat on it i want to make sure it is to the best level before i add the heat to her hair so now i am steaming her hair so all of that the benefits from the conditioner and the oil is penetrating into her hair and i'm just setting up everything as i let the steam penetrate okay so now hair. that we have finished steaming we have completely rinsed it out because i had oil in it you want to make sure you rinse it out really really well because you don't want the oil to weigh down um the hair when you flat iron the hair so when i rinse it out i made sure i rinse it out for about a good 10 minutes just to get everything out and now it is time for me to blow dry her hair make sure her hair is a little bit damp i did add some of the um tailor beauty moisturizing mist to her hair prior to um blow drying it just to make sure that it doesn't get damaged from the heat so here is her hair completely blow dried i do have a blow dry routine that i will leave above if you guys want to check that out that's why i didn't go in depth today because i do have a full routine on that so now i'm just going ahead and flat ironing her hair um I went ahead and resprayed each section with the Taylor Beauty Moisturizing Mist prior to flat ironing it just to protect it from the heat. Um, this has a lot of, the Moisturizing Mist has a lot of good benefits, which does protect it from the heat. So I'm just doing the chase method, which is basically dividing the hair into very small sections and detangling the hair, adding the comb at the root, then begin to flat iron the hair and comb the hair at the same time. I only do one pass when I flat iron and my flat iron is on the lowest heat setting. I forgot to mention that my blow dryer was also on medium so her hair is not flat iron on high heat. Her hair reverted back. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that I only did one pass used the, using the comb and chase method and um, her hair had a lot of moisture prior to flat ironing it which is going to prevent a a lot of damage so you want to make sure the hair is in very good health before you flat iron it so here are the results of me blow drying and flat ironing her hair she is in need of a trim so I went ahead and trimmed her ends I gave her a nice even cut throughout her hair um, because she's 
in desperate need of a trim and also I didn't trim as much as I would like to have trimmed this time around so I am going to trim her hair in about two months I usually trim her hair about every four months but I want to go back and trim a little bit more I just didn't want to give her such a drastic trim this time around so now I'm going inside of her head and I am trimming inside of her head because it's, it's important not only to get the hair an even cut, but to also go into the hair and trim inside as well. Okay, so here is the final results. Her hair is nice and straight. My goal is never to get her hair bone straight because she's four years old and I don't want to cause any damage. So here is her hair the next night. Um, we did put flexi rods in her hair just because her hair started to revert back due to the humidity. And here is her at her graduation. So if you guys found this video helpful, let me know below and thanks for watching.